PC WizKid here with the Diamond Boost. That's an AMD Radeon R9 280X. Comes pre-overclocked out of the factory from Diamond. This boost is 1 gigahertz on the core clock and um, 1500 uh, megahertz there on the memory clock. 3 gigs of that memory, by the way. So if you're planning on doing some high-end gaming, you know, some high resolution gaming this is the type of card that you would get at least and diamond multimedia has this large card you can see here the uh, size in case you're wondering if it's going to fit in your case um, one of the things I, I must admit these are the cards that you would have on your 4k displays um, whether you want to run it in infinity or not it's up to you if you were to compare this to a previous generation it would be the 7970 or a gtx 770 more or less and uh, they recommend a 750 watt power supply Okay, on this one, it is a high wattage uh, graphics card. Okay, so keep that in mind. So you will need a powerful um, PSU for that one. Dual fan, very nice and quiet. I must admit, this card did not overheat and it did not disappoint in that area. Too many display ports, one HDMI and one DVI out. Okay, a little bit uh, different than what uh, you would expect, but uh, definitely you can connect three monitors in Infinity, and I did do that. The nickel plated copper. Um, Heat pipes are very nice going throughout the uh, large heat sink that is covering the entire surface of that board, as you can see. So they did a good job there trying to um, maximize what is being uh, cooled down through these heat pipes and that heat sink. Uh, like I mentioned a second ago, high wattage graphics card, you're going to need an 8-pin and a 6-pin PCI Express connector there for your from your power supply on that one. And here is another look at the uh, heat sink going through that um, heat pipe there okay so you can see that if you have this in Windows 8 8.1 or whatever you can enable the uh, dual bias uh, which is right here along the top little tiny switch right there I don't know if you can see that and you would just toggle that and turn it on or off depending on whether you're running that OS or not now if you want to have two of these in um, crossfire you can do that of course it has the capabilities for that no problem and that's pretty much it okay that's the card in a nutshell good quality construction doesn't look flimsy or anything very strong so uh, I went ahead and um, installed this in my system nothing uh, special I mean I downloaded the latest drivers comes with the manual instructions uh, crossfire uh, bridge connector that's pretty much it if you look at my system here that I'm testing this on it's the FX 8350 running at 4.5 gigahertz 16 gigs of memory SSD drive Windows 7 here are the specific the specifications of the card as you can see there the amount of um, processing units the shaders the uh, 3 gigs of GDDR5 memory 128 uh, G of texture fill rate bus width again 384 bit which is more of the higher end of course it's not a 512 bit which would be the 290 but this one still is towards the higher end and there's the GPU core and memory speeds still using the Tahiti XL core though which is similar to the um, 7970 from last generation now temperatures 27 degrees Celsius there on idle roughly okay depends on your ambient temperature and your machine that you're putting this in I do have a lot of nice quiet fans in my case that are keeping things flowing very nicely and on full load you can see here it reaches 60 degrees Celsius very easily then again the RPM of the fans does shoot up all the way up to uh, 1600 RPM okay overclocking again I increased the core clock to 1150 megahertz and the memory clock to 1700 megahertz so I got a considerable amount of uh, overclocking from this card so very nicely done there on on this for from diamond 3d mark 11 benchmarks the p9389 is the performance score you can see how it compares to the 7970 or the R9 270X edition so it is slightly faster and the extreme score as well here you can see that and compare it to other graphic cards that I reviewed the uh, score here on Firestrike is at default core clocks so you can see 6812 and there's the extreme score of course if I overclock this further the score goes up considerably which is very nice the Haven benchmarks here they are again average frames per second about 40 and if I overclock this even further, well, you get a little boost, of course, and that's what I like to see, right? If you um, are wondering about how much does it overclock, well, I would say anywhere from 5 to 10 frames per second gain uh, that you get. Here's Tomb Raider. Okay, you can see here the um, 
frames per second on that one overclocked. Very nice here again on ultimate quality and um, the settings when it's overclocked. And here is the Ifinity triple monitor. Battlefield 4, again, different types of scenarios, whether you're playing it with DirectX 11 enabled or Mantle. There they are. Multiplayer with Mantle, very nice. Frames per second as well. Assassin's Creed 4, very high settings. I'm running this uh, benchmark on, of course, and you can see there with DirectX 11 and overclocked, you get a little boost there of about 5 frames per second. On Thief, I enabled Mantle and also tested it with DirectX 11 and you can see also the gains when you overclock it. Sleeping Dogs, here are some more benchmarks again at default clocks and then overclocked you get a little bit of, of a boost right now you can see that and then on Ifinity uh, running it at default clocks on, on high settings you can see here um, the types of results that you can get from that as well. So a little bit of everything, so you get an idea on um, how it scales and performs. Crisis 3 really pushes the card to its limit though, and there you got a good idea about that as well. And um, Alien vs. Predator, again, I got about 10 frames per second, maybe a little bit more when I overclocked it. So very nicely done there by Diamond. Good solid card. Check out uh, your latest... Uh, store there for the latest pricing of course it can range anywhere from three to, to four hundred dollars depending on who's selling it but uh, then again it's a great card and currently sold out and out of stock on newegg.com check it out and uh, comment below let me know what you think i'd like to thank diamond for providing it hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching